Hey there. Welcome to the latest episode of Hiker Homily. This time we're going to talk about the Leave No Trace Principle number three, continuing my series of the seven principles of Leave No Trace. So principle number three is disposing of your waste properly. So it sounds pretty straightforward, right? Pick up your garbage. Whatever you bring with you, as they say, pack it in, pack it out. Whatever you bring with you, you don't leave any of it there when you're done hiking or backpacking. But it gets a little deeper than that. But we'll go for the simple stuff first. Obviously, the the most glaring and obvious thing would be, of course, your garbage. So we'll talk about that, and that's very easy. I mean, it's like they say, pack it in, pack it out. Like I just said, it's kind of self-explanatory, right? If I uh, am hiking or backpacking and I've got my food in like a plastic bag or a container, I'm obviously not going to leave that there when I'm done eating out of it, right? Just not going to leave it in the in the woods, in the forest, the back country, any of that. I'm going to have a designated trash bag that I'm going to carry with me. Yes, inside my pack. And whatever I produce as garbage is going to go in that bag. And it's going to go in my backpack and I'm going to carry it all the way out till I'm done with my hike or my backpacking trip. And then I will dispose of it in a proper trash container. So that's one of the reasons why we've talked about the previous principle. Be prepared, you know, preparation. A lot of hikers, especially backpackers, will often repackage their food in a manner to make that whole situation easier. The ones who follow leave no trace. Um, those guidelines. They will... Uh, repurpose and, and pack packages and things so that you have a minimum of trash and the trash that you are carrying is not heavy because you're going to be carrying with it with you for a while until you can find a garbage can to properly dispose of it, right? Um, so that pretty much goes with anything. You know, if I am bringing something with me and it stops working, oh my gosh, I can't even think of a... Obviously not like your phone or electronics or something like that, but just something that you end up not needing. You're not just going to crumple it up or just toss it aside. You're going to end up carrying it with you until you can get rid of it. But that's your garbage thing, and it's pretty self-explanatory, right? I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. So let's get into the other part of that, which is not so simple, and it's the thing that really, really ooks people, some people, out. So for a lot of backpackers, we're not just talking about garbage when we're talking about our waste. We are talking literally about our waste. And there are two schools on this, two, two mindsets for Leave No Trace. You've got the slightly less hardcore Leave No Tracers who believe, yes, you need to dispose of your waste properly. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you pack it out for those people. But that does mean that you are going to be mindful of where you do your business, shall we say. You're going to dig what they call a cat hole. And where you put that cat hole is going to make a difference. You know, you, you want it at least 200 feet away from water sources and things like that, and away from the trail or designated campsites. You want your cat hole to be probably at least seven inches deep. Make sure your waste is in the cat hole. And here's the part that really freaks people out, but unfortunately it's a thing, is you should have a system going where whatever you use to wipe with, that doesn't go in the cat hole and get buried because what's gonna happen is animals are gonna dig that up. It's gonna end up spread all over the forest. 
And I know you hear a lot of people, but paper is biodegradable. But it is not a product of actual nature. It's been processed. Toilet paper has been processed and things. So no, you don't leave it out there. Don't. Uh, you have to pack it out. So you need a safe bag or something to put all that in to carry it out so that it doesn't mix with your stuff. It keeps odors from getting out. Things like that. And things like that exist. Uh, you have everything from just simple freezer bags to there's actual inventions for it. Containers that you can carry. Okay, so yeah, you're going to leave your poop there. Not necessarily carry it out. But you are going to carry your TP out. The used stuff. So just kind of deal with that. Because I've been to campsites where people have buried their TP. It doesn't stay buried. And it turns out being a complete mess. It really does. It's horrible. Especially the people who haven't paid attention to leave no trace. And we're nowhere near 200 uh, feet from a campsite or anything like that. So be mindful of that. And yes, I know there's a lot of people out there. Oh, that's just disgusting. It's gross. Well, I'm sorry. So is finding your cat hole that's been dug up and your toilet paper spread everywhere with your poop on it. <laughs> so it can be done in a sanitary way. It just takes prepping and planning. Hey, isn't that one of the principles of Leave No Trace? It's weird. We already went over that. So, that is the second part that kind of ooks people out. I get it. Ooh, gross. But yes, and there are some folks that take it even a step further and they have a special bag for their human waste. They do not dig a cat hole. They poop in the bag and they carry everything out and then dispose of it in a proper place. Like they'll dump it in a toilet or they'll find a, a human waste. There are some areas in the country that provide bins for human waste uh, to be discarded in for people who are totally strictly following Leave No Trace. So there you go. Aside from garbage, we're also talking about actual human waste when we're talking about properly disposing of our waste. So the third thing is something that a lot of people don't think about, unless it's mostly a camping thing if you're out camping. But I have seen backpackers do it, and I completely admit, as a younger person, when I first started backpacking, I never even thought of it. And I was also sucked in by uh, keywords that the industry can use uh, to fool me. And so what I'm talking about here is gray water. For those of you who don't know what gray water is, that would be water that is contaminated with uh, any kind of a cleaning thing or soap. So a lot of you right away are like, hey, but they have that really cool biodegradable soap, bio soap, safe soap, soap that's blah, 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 blah. No. No matter how bio-friendly it claims to be, it uh, still can cause a problem. It still is not a natural thing. So we shouldn't be leaving it in the water sources. Um, so when you're cleaning your dishes, I know a lot of backpackers, they don't use soap at all. They just clean as best they can in the water and things like that and, and uh, wipe it off really well with their whatever dish rag they're carrying with them. But, um, yeah, so even the, the bio soap, biodegradable soap, however they label it, no, nope, don't do that. Once again, when you're doing your dishes, if you're going to use soap or you're washing yourself with some kind of soap or something like that, I know it's inconvenient, but again, 200 feet from water sources, 200 feet from camp, things like that. that helps keep the water sources from being contaminated 
water sources that other hikers, other campers are going to need to use sometimes. Now, like I say, a lot of the times, if I'm wa washing uh, dishes and stuff with soap, I'm on a camping trip, not a backpacking trip. And there's usually places supplied for me to pour uh, the stuff out. There usually is. And, uh, and that's cool. But, you know, I know some backpackers, and I used to be one of them a long, long time ago. We'd want things to get clean, and we'd bring our special bio soap, and we'd feel good about, oh, this is totally safe and stuff like that wash our dishes near camp and spill it out well you're you're looking at issues there for several reasons number one if you're washing your dishes and when you're a young backpacker you got to learn these things and i did i had to learn them when i was younger uh washing my dishes with food residue and even with a soap i spill it out and i'm only 10 15 feet from camp well it's behind this bush it's no big deal Nobody in camp's going to be bothered by it. They know this is where we wash our dishes. So they're not going to bug it and stuff like that. Um, those little food particles are going to attract wildlife. And that could become a problem for you that night. Because they're going to come in close to your camp. And once they're close to your camp, they're going to be, well, let's see what else is here. Especially if they're raccoons. Little trash pandas, they will be all over your camp. So... Yes, disposing of gray water. Uh, if there is no, absolutely no way for you to get 200 feet away from your camp or a water source, then I guess you're going to have to store it and carry it out, and that's going to suck. So probably best not even to use that kind of thing, right? Dish soap and things like that, even if it's considered eco-friendly. Um, but that's really just kind of the take on it. Again, leave no trace are suggested guidelines. I still intend when I'm done with this to do a quick little blurb on just a general overview of leave no trace as far as why I think it's misnamed, but it is a good group of guidelines or principles to try to follow as best as you can. But as usual, any comments, questions, about leave no trace principle number three which is dispose of your waste properly and waste meaning trash gray water and waste as usual you can get a hold of me at hikingforhealthca at gmail.com or of course leave comments down below or anywhere else i post this on social media uh wow the last video i did on uh the trail angel quote-unquote controversy i guess actually is a controversy because boy i got a lot of feedback uh most of it very common sense and i'll you know go over that when i do a feedback loop episode or whatever but a lot of it was common sense i'm glad to see that <clears throat> some of it was kind of out there <laughs> but hey you know that's the hiker community it takes all kinds but uh yeah so leave no trace number three <sighs> four more to go but dispose of your waste properly. I'll catch you next time.